Hey guys, Reflex came out about a month ago and uh, figured now's a good time to do a demo review. And uh, this one was submitted by Miaogli on Furnace versus Poma. Poma's got a little bit of uh, higher rank and competitive. This is a competitive duel that was played recently. So we'll kick it off and see where it goes. Alright, so Miaogli jumps straight down to here. So, quick thought. Um, early on in this game, uh, especially on this map, it's very important to get a rocket launcher, and I think that rather than jumping straight down to red, I probably would have gotten the, the high rocket launcher and then seen where my opponent is and then decided which armor to go from there. Because if Poma rushes right now, that's pretty bad for me, ugly. Poma has the weapon advantage, he has all the hit scan weapons. Ugly. Probably should have gotten the ion cannon there. But good time to pressure into the red. Yeah, a little bit of a, a misheard sound there. Let me rewind. So. Whenever you hear the shards, definitely know he's over there. But that aside, I just... He, so, Meowgli is here. I don't hear any rocket jumping or teleporting, so he wouldn't be up on this side. Well, then again, I guess he could double jump there from the health ledge, but not a common jump. Low on rocket ammo. Good timing. Yeah. Um, so I think the rocket thing kind of hurts you there. Let me just rewind here because you ran right past the rocket launcher with three rockets. And being able to spam on this map is pretty important. But good time to get to the red. So as you can see, you don't have rockets. He's got a really good position on you. If you really wanted to, like, I assume his stack is quite comparable to yours. He's got the yellows, he's got mega, and you haven't really done any major damage to him. So if you wanted to, since he's like on the on this floor, what you could do is you could just dodge here and try to shoot him with ion cannon as much as you can, pressure him, dodge rockets, and then decide what to do from his reaction. Like if he backs off, then you're free to go this way. If he's still, um, you know, if he's still trying to bait a fight, then you can jump up here and try to escape like that. But in general, I wouldn't rush forward into him in this situation, especially without a rocket launcher, because he has rockets and you don't, and being that close is kind of a bad thing. All right, so yellows and rockets, definitely at rockets. Sorry for the mouse cursor. Heard yellow spawn, I think. Was that yellow that spawned? Yep, yellow spawned. Okay. A lot of damage there. Okay. Is this early for this red? I think it is. Yeah. Okay, so that life. I'm thinking the next armor that you should be concerned with is over here. It's already up. So at this point, you've got Ion Cannon. Rocket launcher is up over here. My thought is either you want to get a rocket launcher if he's going toward this yellow, or you want to head toward the yellow and find out if he's going to chase you. Like if you go down here and he chases you into this room, don't go up to it because you're going to take more damage than it's worth. So like go to this room, figure out what he's doing, and run away if you need to. 
otherwise, um, rocket launcher is always a safe thing to go for. Red's coming up soon. Five seconds or so. Um, okay, that's good. Uh, I was thinking... Okay, let me go back here. So, whenever you're here and he's going to the red, I'm thinking to myself, spam some damage with plasma, shoot him with the iron can whenever he gets a little bit closer and back off just so he doesn't get the red for free but since the mega's up that's you know that's fine you definitely need a rocket launcher if he's got the high one drop down and get the low one or yeah good um okay so you can hear the the railgun buzz right here the bolt rifle buzz so jumping straight into that, he had a pretty easy shot on you there. Nice, nice. I don't think I would have dropped down there. I think I, after taking the teleporter, would have went for over here to get this position and see whenever the yellow's coming up and um, and decide where he's going. Like, uh, I think, so what are the stack differences here? I suspect he's lower than you, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, he's, he's comparable to you. He's got about 50 less stack than you, so you should be able to take this advantage here and bully him away from this armor. And if he's going toward the other armor, then, you know, do the same thing of like, don't really let him get it for free. So this, having this position is good. Um, this is one of my favorite positions to be in on this map because your opponent, no matter where he is, has to worry about you and what you're gonna do. Because if he's in this room, you can pressure him with rocket spam, you can, you know, peek down and try to sneak on him. If he's over here, he has to worry about you peeking out and doing damage, and it's his, his best shot at hurting you is with hit scan. And if he's over here, he has to worry about you jumping in on him, because you can jump down to here and be a big problem. Obviously, if he's down at the lower rocket launcher, you can spam there and be over here. So it's like, this is a good control point. The other good control point on this map is like right here. And this is for people who are more ion cannon heavy, because they have the ion cannon and they can counter somebody who's here to some extent. But, you know, it's more prone to getting spammed by rockets, so you have to be a bit more careful if you're trying to take this as your control spot, but you're still really quickly able to get around to anywhere that you need to. So, if you're trying to find a neutral position after a fight where you have a, a close stack, then either here or here. Like, the, these are the places to be, in my opinion. And another advantage of being on this side rather than lay on cannon is you can hop down and grab this real quick and then be back into position. And if your opponent is not expecting you or he's, like, not close enough to punish you with ion cannon whenever you hop down here, then you're, you know, pretty golden to take it and just go for free damage with the bolt rifle every now and then. So, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't have dropped down from here. Long story short on that one. Also low on ammo. There you go. So this yellow is going to come up, and the other yellow should still be up, and the red's coming up soon. There you go. Okay, so you're tanked. He set up the trap, the classic trap of your red armor, which is probably the worst place in any of the competitive dual maps to be. But you're close to 200-200. He's nowhere near you in stack. I don't think he even got this armor yet. This armor's been up the full cycle. So he's probably still somewhere around 125 stack, give or take. You know, he picked up shards here and there, so let's just check that real quick. Yeah, 125. You are 400 stack right here, man. So rushing headfirst into him, 
is fine if you intend on doing a rocket to the face type of thing and just like full on, you know, kamikaze into him. But since he's that much lower in stack, if he's going to play the smart, he's not going to actually fight you. He's just going to like do damage and back off. So what you might want to do is, like I was saying earlier, whenever you try to get out, just peek here, start using Ion Cannon to bully him away, and then chase him. Because being here and trying to rush out is going to take a lot more damage than you really need. Yeah, he shouldn't be taking this fight. No way. Alright, so the plasma yellow's up, and then the other yellow. Brush the other yellow. Good, good, good. Okay. I forget when you lost Ma uh, Mega. It probably would have been right after the red fight, so rush to Mega now and you'll be good. Take two 25s, yep. Okay, so he's at the L that's coming up now. You need to take damage to get this, but it's good. Let me just elaborate on that. So, you got the kill. It doesn't make sense to take this mega, or this uh, yellow, because you've got so much red, and it would just hurt you quite a lot to try and knock this out of yourself to pick up the yellow. And if he's going to get this yellow, you should be able to punish him. So, hurting yourself for this yellow is generally not a good idea. Hurting yourself for the other yellow, yeah, that's, you know, it depends on when the red's coming up, where he is, and if you can bait a fight or not. So that sort of stuff. But this one, I really wouldn't hurt myself much to take this one. So you, you made a good choice there. Oh. Yeah, I thought he was going to get that. Um, okay, so you were chasing him directly. And, like, rather than chasing him directly, I think I would have anticipated his best bet to getting back into the game at this point, which is he needs a rocket launcher and he needs armor. So you're physically closer to the armor and you can cut him off by going this way and, you know, take the ion cannon. So it's again about getting into these positions of control. And uh, another way you could have done it is you could have just rocket jumped here, up to here, taken this rocket launcher and been in this position of control. So being here affords you a lot of good options, and chasing might be not quite as good unless you're like trying to make up frags whenever it's close to the end of the game or something. Alright, so the other yellow's up. You probably shouldn't hurt yourself still. Yeah, oh okay, the red was up too, my bad. Unfortunate bounces. Good. Hmm. I don't know that I would have given up the position there, so let me rewind real quick and think about this. Because you bullied him away with the ion cannon. He did not respond by pulling out an ion cannon of his own, so I don't think he had one. Uh, let's. Yeah, he did not have Ion Cannon. I would have guessed that he didn't based on the way that he just, you know, completely let it happen. Um, so being here is good. This is a case where being at the Ion Cannon to control this is good. If you can avoid him teleporting in through this teleporter and just, you know, gagging you with a rocket real quick. But yeah, you, you forced him away. You want the rocket launcher and then Staying here or at the ion cannon and waiting for this yellow is probably the thing that I would have planned on doing. Um, yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's he's punishing you quite a lot, but he now notably he didn't have ion cannon there. So he made a really good choice of where to punish you from. If you'll notice, whenever he was trying to punish this position before, he was here with Ion Cannon, so that he couldn't be hit with rockets easily, but he had a good line of sight to you with Ion Cannon, and if you took the back triple jump up, he could teleport and be on you right away. So if you don't have Ion Cannon, 
here is a really good place to punish. So this was a good call by him to be here. Now, uh, something that I saw often in the uh, DP5 Masters Cup recently is whenever somebody's in this position and they're getting pelted by rockets or even somebody, well, m more so pelted by rockets, the common thing to do is just aim a rocket straight down and rocket jump up with a little circle jump so that you have enough speed to get up here and immediately be like pressuring him with your own rockets. And if you do a little bit of air movement, then he's unlikely to predict and hit you with a rocket in the middle of air. And just to take a quick look at stacks here, so you're about 300 and he's about 240. So it would have been a little messy to do that, but that is something you can do if you want to, um, you know, pressure your opponent and get into a more direct fight with him. Alright, so he... Just a reminder, uh, the last cycle, he got the high yellow, you got the red, and it was really quick one after another. was enough time to go between them. This yellow over in this direction is still up. So it's a while before the other armors are going to spawn. I'd probably head in that direction, and since I've been talking so much, I'm actually not sure on when the mega is going to respawn, but I suspect it'll be before the other two armors are. So we'll see what happens. Good punish. Uh, good good idea to punish there. The execution didn't quite work out as well as you'd hoped. The back yellow is still up. There's the mega. Armors are coming up. Go for the red and you're good. Alright, so you get the red. He's doing the same thing. He has choices though this time because he should definitely have ion cannon. You died with it right in front of him. He picked it up. Uh, so he might do the rocket launcher thing there or he might be over here with the ion cannon. You don't have anything to really contest him. Um, so at this point, I think you'd have to play it by ear. You'd have to decide if he's going with the ion cannon abuse, you can try to escape in a way that, like, how can I put this? Um, you could try to do a triple jump in this direction and aim a rocket here. So like triple jump and aim a rocket and then just be ready to shoot and drop down if you need to. Kind of dance in this area and don't rush head out into it because he's got a serious weapon advantage on you and he should be able to really, really hurt you before you get out of here. So it just has me concerned that you don't have ion cannon here. Alright, so, again, reminder, this yellow right next to you was taken, and then the red was taken immediately after. So the only armor up is the plasma yellow, and he got the mega recently and lost in the middle of that fight. So we've got a little bit of time before anything other than the plasma yellow comes up. It's a good idea to stack up on weapons, so getting the ion cannon here and then heading in the direction of the plasma yellow to find out if, he could, if he's actually going to contest you for that would be a good idea. But if he is don't go for it, because that's just a death trap. Alright, he's jumping around. Okay, good. Wasn't sure how high his stack was there. Uh, did he get the high yellow? Yes, he did. Okay, so he does not have ion cannon. He does have Iron Cannon, my bad. Right, because he spawned high yellow. Mm. Okay, so that trap, again, like, he's, he's doing the right thing. Absolutely doing the right thing of trying to punish you every time you come out of the red. And since he's kind of in this position here, whenever you get red, he's not ready to punish you yet until you come up these stairs. So given that he wasn't in position, and he w if you step up here you're gonna get punished, I think it would have been safer to take these up and then, again, be pre-aiming here just in case he's really on the chase. But he shouldn't be at that point. All 
Alright, he got this yellow at the same time you got the red. For, okay, I was just gonna say I couldn't remember if he had Mega or not. Meg's at 631 on my clock. Good damage, good damage. Okay, so you killed him. High yellow is up. High yellow is not up, right? Because he grabbed that quite recently, I think. And this yellow's up. Red's up. So at this point, if you really wanted to, you could try to go for this yellow and hope he doesn't go for red, but I think it would be safer to just go for red straight and then punish him and chase, not really chase, but get into a position of control like up here. Good. All right. Yeah, so I heard what he was doing there. You hear him jumping to, jumping across, firing a rocket from up above and getting a weapon. So he's at the bolt rifle, you hear it. There's the weapon. So I think you should have been aiming up and trying to punish with the ion cannon a little bit there. Okay, Mega on five. Mega's up. Oh, ah, you should have that. What's going on there? There's a lot of running back and forth. Um, so you get here, you ha hear him with the bolt rifle. He's looking for damage. He's hunting you, basically. And rocket launcher's not up. So at this point, you need to escape it from him. He's above you, right? Yeah, he's directly above you. So this is concerning in that he can hop down here and fight. He can hop down here and fight. He can teleport through here and fight. So the safest escape, if you're here, you don't have a weapon and you want to get away from him, is this teleporter. That way you're at least on the other side of the map. And, you know, he could he could fall through that teleporter, but it's unlikely. So, especially if you take this teleporter, I just saw this yellow's up, so that's convenient. So I was thinking of the evading him by taking this teleporter, going for the rocket launcher, and then seeing what your options are would be the best bet. Rockets, reds up. Health. Okay, so the plasma yellow is up. He's not gonna let you get the plasma yellow. Ooh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's not a fight I would have taken. He's really stacked. Like at this point, at this point. Uh, what I would be trying to do is getting into one of those two positions of control and backing off away from him as much as I can, because you need to waste time. Uh, you don't want to get into a fight whenever he's got that much of a stack advantage over you. Like, you did a little bit of damage punishing him out of there, but he's still 279 to your, like, 70 stack. So, um, given how close he was... Like, coming out of this teleport, I'm thinking immediately go to high RL, but he's really close. So rather than that, like, shoot a rocket, teleport back out, and just run. Oh, what are you doing? I don't know why he ran from you. That was really weird. Oh, you passed up rockets. So the, high, the plasma yellow's up. He's got his iron or bolt rifle out. Yeah, he's fishing for damage. I keep hearing him. He's like holding the bolt rifle out, and you're just jumping straight forward. And I think that's a, a bit of a problem against Puma, uh, Poma, especially because he's looking for that damage. You can even hear him. Uh, a lot of opponents, whenever they're doing that, shouldn't be holding the bolt rifle out. If they're, like, lining up a bolt shot, they should aim a little bit ahead of you with the gun that doesn't make a buzz, hit it, and then do damage to you. 
So he's kind of making a bad choice, but you're also falling into it. Okay. The yellow is up. He lets you have the red again. Alright, um, okay. So you get the healths, he's at bolt. This is iron cannon time to me. Like, he's got a full 1.3 seconds before he can fire again, and you haven't fired a shot. Changed ion cannon. You can stand still and aim straight at him and just do damage if he tries to jump away. So, this should have been a huge punish right here. Alright, you need health. The 225s down here are gone. Never mind. <laughs> these these red armor steals are quite amusing to me. The last three in a row you've had some interesting ones. Like you just shoved him away even though he really shouldn't have run. He should have like plus forwarded into your face and just killed you. But ah oh, whatever. Nice. Okay, so yellows. You need to keep yellows away from him. You have enough. Yeah, you hurt yourself enough to get that. Yeah, so he, like I said, you need to get yellows. You need to keep yellows away from him. After you get this one, um, best bet is just to, like, jump down toward the other yellow because he's heading in that direction. He needs to do it. But then again, ion cannon's important, so. Probably from here I would have got an ion cannon. It's not up, damn. And headed in this direction. Okay, so this is actually not as good as I had hoped. With the ion cannon down, he probably spawned and grabbed it. So, let's think here. This is obviously not something you can react to immediately in the game. You're down by four frags, you've got a minute to go. So, what do you do? He's going to get that no matter what. Realistically, you need the ion cannon for a lot of fights, so probably staying here and then bouncing between here and here and figuring out where he is and doing damage to him is your best bet until the next arm responds. Guy loves jumping to his bolt rifle. Good damage to him. Okay, you still don't have Ion Cannon. The two yellows are coming up. They were grabbed basically at the same time. Not the red, though. There you go. Two yellows. Um, okay. So, one of the things to keep in mind with the spawn system in this game is that you're very likely to be able to kill your opponent, take a cross-map teleporter just after he spawns, and then kill him again. So, in this case, since you killed him very near to a teleporter that's cross-map, what you should do is like wait right in front of it, maybe off to the side if you're paranoid and don't like to stand on destinations, and wait until you hear the spawn, step forward and fire a rocket immediately, because he might have spawned here if you were standing right there. And like this, this is one of those places where anytime you get a frag in this area, just stand here, wait. As soon as you hear it, step forward and shoot. So that could have helped lower the uh, the difference real quick. All right, high yellow is up too. Nice, nice. Okay, high yellow. All right, tie game. No armors are coming up soon. The two armors that will come up next are high yellow and red at the same time. Mega's not going to come back in the game and might be the last second or so for the uh, the Ion Cannon Yellow. So at this point, you want to get a frag so it doesn't go to overtime. Understandable. Um, you want to aggress on him before he gets a good weapon. So Rocket Launcher is his best bet. He tried to get it recently and it didn't work so well. Uh, so let's see what happens here. Right, he has a good weapon. 
is running. Oof. Alright. Don't get telefract. <laughs> Good game. Alright. Knocked him into gold. <laughs> Alright, so I'll rewind here and just walk around. And, um, so I think the majority of my complaints were revolving around escapes from the red. Um, the, the ways that people can punish from red are very commonly with ion cannon from here, with a little bit of spam and ion cannon from here, and then if the person takes the backdrop they can teleport and, you know, keep punishing, or with just rockets from here. So, in a lot of cases, you don't want to take this. You don't want to take these stairs. You're just going to take a lot of damage. But, if you have an ion cannon of your own, and you have a stack advantage, you could sit here and just track, 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 and, you know, keep fighting here. The most dangerous time whenever you don't have an ion cannon is, is whenever you don't have an ion cannon. If you don't have one, it eliminates your best option of just, like, bullying him away from these punished spots. So, if he's here with rockets, that's also pretty bad, even if you do have ion cannon, because he can bounce you around and you really won't get those shots off that you need to. So, if he's there, you're, if he is like close to your stack, then rocket jumping in his face is not going to work well. If he is low on stack, you can just rocket jump and try to force a fight really close, do some damage, and then rush to the next armor that's going to spawn. And if he's there and he's close to your stack, you might have made a mistake in jumping down here in the first place. Because if you and your opponent are close in stack, and somebody goes to this trap, then you should be able to do a ton of damage to them and take advantage so that the next armor is yours. Um, yeah, I, th I think that's the general thing that I see in terms of this map and the punishes. Uh, the control points I mentioned, definitely keep this in mind. Being here gives you a lot of good options and quickly aggressing on your opponent and being able to spam. So, overall, Good play, a lot of good choices, a couple things to improve upon, and uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much, guys.